All right, all right. I got me here a Flipper Zero. And I just got this thing about a couple of months ago and really didn't use it much, but I'm getting around to using it. But I made a little experiment and I found out this is also European style. So I call this the Let Flipper Zero Switch European style is what I call this. Now how it goes is I already installed these lights because they're hard to see on camera, but believe it or not, the cathode, our little cathode, oh, where's my little sticks? My little sticks, I, I can't find my sticks right now. I don't know where I put them. But this little cathode is right here. That's on the negative, that's the longer lead, okay? This is the short lead, okay? It's a long, this is the long lead. It's hard to take it out on camera, I'm not gonna bother because it's a C3 little breadboard. But I got through the divisor but you can try this little experiment yourself. Get a breadboard like this or any kind and try this experiment. Now we're gonna hook up these little wires here. I thought I'd put this one just a little bit more this way so I can put the power wire in there. We got that one in there. See that? Okay, now this one here can go right beside here like so. See this? It's on it's acting like a, it's gonna act like a power. It's this is this is the problem. This is where it gets European. Okay. Their anode becomes our cathode and our cathode becomes the anode. And in this case, the cathode is going to be the anode. <laughs> and the anode is the cathode. And uh, I believe I have it on there, that part there, right? Now we're going to check each one of these as we go. Now i got to hook this thing up to the ground. the ground pin there even though it's positive wire but you'll see what I mean you'll see just what I mean I'll let up one left first to make sure it works Now we're going to connect the flipper zero. Move that like that. We're going to go like this. I'm going to go like this. And then we're going to go see the word apps. We go just straight down like this. Don't even go in the word apps. Just go right here to GPIO. Then you got to go to manual control. And then we got to go to PV2. See that? See how that one there works? Isn't that weird? And look, the black wire is supposed to be the anode. It's not supposed to be a positive. It's supposed to be a ground here. This one's supposed to be a ground, but it's going to act like the anode instead. Yeah, it's going to act like the anode, okay? Now we're going to hook up the other light. Just to show you the continue to experiment, okay? Just so I, I can show you how to make a switch out of your out of your uh, flipper. I make sure I'm in the right hole. Now we're gonna put this in the the BP3, or I can't see that so small. Five B3, six B3. But the, the, the thing here, the GPL things will look a little different, all right? On the thing, because you get different kinds of the GPL things, but they're the same. But now we're going to see if number two works. Okay, number, th number three works. See how number three works? Number three works. See that? See how number three works? 
Now we're going to set up for number four. But I'm just being humorous here. I'm using the wrong kind of the wrong kind of colored wires just to simply show you that this actually was is European electric electrical settings. That's all I can surmise it as. Because we used to have the same kind of settings here in Canada, but we quit that in the 80s. We went from uh, the ground being black being negative and black and red being positive when it was this way around when red was ground and black was positive. But that's not that it's not like that no more. Now we got this like this. Now we're gonna see if we can light for blue. Oh, going the wrong way. See that? Now there's a thing that's called all. So we're gonna go to all, right? Now watch this. Beep 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 beep. Lay the pie, but lay, lay the flipper down. I got a pie too, actually. So if you heard me say pie, I got a raspberry pie also. I keep playing with that, so I'm just getting used to this little puppy here that I got here. But you can make yourself a light experiment. And what you can also do when you're on your computer, let's just say I go like this, and I want to go back to the ones I had. If I go like this and hold my finger down, and then pull away, the light stays on. I'm not holding anything. This light's just permanently staying on. I'm gonna do the same thing with the next one, watch. I'm gonna go here, turn this one on, pull away. See how it stays on? Again, I'm not even using my, hand, my hands. This is just staying on, okay? That's just staying on, I'm not using any hands. See, everything's free, right? You can do that with your keyboard when you got this on. Now, we're gonna go to P4, okay? I mean, PA4, am I right there? Yep. Now watch this. PA4, pull away. See that? You can keep them all on that way too. Or if I want, I can go back to P3, PB3, and turn the middle one off. And the other two stay on. And see? That way you know I'm not, using, I'm not cheating or using my hands. You can do it on here too. You, what you do is, you hold your button down, and as you're holding it, you push one of your arrow keys side to side. So you can do the same thing on here, but it's just a lot easier to do it on the computer, as you can actually see right here in front of your eyes. But yeah, you can actually do it on the computer. But this is what this is, European style. And I'll, I'll tell you why. Okay, we'll turn these pins off first, because um, it's always safe to do that. So we're just gonna go like this for a minute. Okay. Just to show you that this is the cathode. See that? The longer lead is the cathode, the short one's the anode. But this is acting like a, a, an input. Instead, in the cathode, it's acting like the ground. See, this is here. The cathode's going into the ground. And, and the leads don't usually have a cathode, like uh, on the positive side, on the anode side. But in this case, because of the European electrical system, it's kind of backward in their color. And so what it is, and, and technically, the three black wires you see here, they'd be the ground to us, technically. It's just weird, but uh, it's just uh, this ground is actually running the anodes it's not it's not uh, positive it's not a negative ground on the on the on the on the cathodes so when i was putting this together i had a hard time figuring it out i'm like okay i did everything right how come it ain't working and that was the reason why it wasn't working everything is in european on this flipper zero everything i guess like the I, like if you're going to use the inputs on an extended breadboard like i did you're going to find it's european because the anodes act like the ground and the ground uh, 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 cathodes act like the gra act, act as uh, the positives. So you go figure. That's what's happening. It's like a flip flop here. But you can actually control these, and you get. We'll go back into GPIO. Don't touch your five volt. Leave that off. You don't need that. Okay. Don't play with that. 
Don't play with that until you're sure you know what you're doing. Okay? But you're always going to push this little middle button as your mode. This is your mode button here. And this is your choice buttons. Now we go like this. See that? That's red. And that's going to be yellow. And this here is going to be blue. See that? Now I hope I can pick it up closer. Now we're gonna go to all. See that? Now I'm gonna pull away. Just like I did before, I'll pull away and they'll all stay on. See that? I'm not holding anything. I'm not holding the mouse or anything. And look at that. Would you look at that? That is flipper zero. And what I had also done, I had also made this for my little flipper zero. But I, I really got nothing to test it on because uh, the TV right now is not a TV, it's a monitor, but I did do a, a someone's remote and it did work, but we'll show you. We'll go all the way down here. Uh, again, I'm gonna have to close this and reopen it, I guess. Or do I have to? Uh, okay. Gotta release that, that's what I had to do. Couldn't get out of there until I did that. Now we got our little flipper, a little, uh, Tamagotchi here. Now we're gonna go back into here. We're gonna go to infrared. Okay. Now this here is Learn TV Remote. I went here and I made this. Oh, I went to you. Hang on. I went to. I think it was Universal Remote. No, I didn't go there either. Save the remotes. That's where I went. Now I'm going to go to mine. This is the remote I made. I made this remote here. And you go down with your button here, and you got to keep pushing the orange button, and then your arrow button if you want to do anything with this. So you get a plus edit right here, you got to edit, and then when you do, you get to either be adding another feature or you can edit the button. But I added all the stuff I wanted to do here, and it actually worked. And <laughs> channel up and channel down. But each time, let's say I wanted to push channel up, I gotta keep, I go there, and I gotta keep pushing this. And then when I wanna go to the next channel, I use only the arrow key for volume, then I can push this, and I gotta keep pushing this to do that. Okay, this acts like your mode all the time. You gotta keep pushing this little center button when you wanna actually do something. Your arrows guide you, this guy here does the action. All right, that's all you gotta remember. But yeah, this, this whole thing is in European. And I didn't really know that because I had a hard time getting this to work. And it's such a simple little concept. I'm going to take it apart. And just to show you that uh, how easy this goes together, okay? We're just going to leave these wires hanging, dangling, for now on this flipper zero here. Take this pin out here. See how easy that you can actually construct this? Just put the one little wire on the very, very end right here, on the ends like I got, but I actually have one little space so you can put your little power wire like I had going to the pilot red wire. I might as well call it uh, a, a, a negative anode. <laughs> That's what I might as well call this on here, a negative anode. But this here is like this. And all you gotta remember now is we'll go back to here. Trying to go to the next space over. Hard to see this thing, it's see-through. We'll go like this. Like that. See this? 
See how it goes? Same way. You put this guy here beside this guy so he can go to the red so the water, the electricity can go into here and also go to here, okay? And then it can also go to here because of the power. So now we're gonna put the power back in. Call it power instead of ground because that's what's acting like. Okay, we got the power, see how we got the power in there now? Or the ground if you wanna call it that, but it's not really a ground here though. Now we gotta find the right wires that I wanna use in order, okay? I wanna use a BP2 or B2, whatever they call it. It's on the thing. See that you can fight, quit fighting with my wires. See that, we got that BP2. I'm gonna put this guy right here. And it's always good to recheck your work. That way if you check, you'll know that you did it right. So we're gonna get ourselves out of here. We're gonna get ourselves out of here. We're gonna go down here again. Go into here again. Go to here again. Okay, that works. Always good to check your work. Now make sure that you got it right. That way you can, that way you won't uh, wonder what you did wrong in case something does go wrong. At least you can capitalize on it pretty, pretty much right away. So always good to check your work. All right, so we're gonna check this piece of work. And now we're gonna check this piece of work. This is beep, this is uh, three. Just, 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 we'll just call this, we'll call this two, three, four, two, three, four. Because of the ground, okay? There's ground. If you want to call it the ground, I call it anode ground. We'll call it European ground. How's that? European ground. That's what we'll call it, European ground. And then we go like this for the B4. See the blue? So we got P2, P3, PA4. Okay? Now you can probably put as many lights as you want on here, provided that you got enough GPIO ports, which I only got, looks like three left there that I can use. Now that one there, that's, uh, that's uh, between the two. Uh, where, I don't know what that one does. I, I haven't had this very long to know what that actually does, that, that second little tiny uh, GPIO, general purpose, general purpose input outputs. But this is what I had done. Now I, I just wanted to mark these so that way you guys would know that I'm not being, I'm not contradicting myself or anything. This is all European. It's uh, <laughs> the nodes, the anode acts like a negative which I think it's pretty ironic, but that's what it does. It acts just like a negative. Amazing, eh? Now we can just go like this. And I can go all, all set to all. As long as you go like this and you don't move, you don't hold down your mouse, so you should, as soon as you release the button, the power lets off. It'll do the same here, watch. See this? Now watch this, if I go like this, and I go like this, see how it stays on? See that? It stays on. Now what you gotta do is, you gotta push it back or you won't be able to release yourself at all. Okay, the, the flipper acts like it crashes, it can't even release. And another thing I found out when you do this, when you actually go like this, and you actually go like this, the backlight even stays on. You didn't even make it so it locks the backlight to stay on. And I, I did that a couple of times that it does that. The backlight of this flipper stays on. But this is what you got right here. Uh, I'm really using a yellow, red, and blue. But maybe on the camera it don't look like that, okay? But that's what we're, that's what I'm using. 
That's exactly what I'm using there. But that's uh, that's Flipper. And of course this time it did turn off, but sometimes it doesn't turn off when I do that little tiny trick. You know, I'll go like this to remind it that I can release it. And that's how you do it. So just remember that, if you hook this up, especially if you get one in Canada, I don't know about the US, but if you get one of these in Canada, just remember the anode on a breadboard, it acts like the ground, because the ground here on here, you gotta put it on the anode side, not the cathode side, okay? That's really weird, but it doesn't go on the cathode side. So this thing's totally European in its electricity. So that's why I call the title, Lead Flipper Zero Switch European Style. Because we just did something that's kind of European style. So if anybody is like me that had trouble figuring this out. Because you weren't ready for such a thing. Well now you now you know your problems have been ceased. Alright. So I'm going to call this the end of the video here. Because I didn't do much except make a TV remote. And make this thing so far. Besides playing a couple of games of easy chess on here. And winning like crazy. But yep this is my new buddy the Flipper Zero. I've only had him like 3 or 4 months. But I really got to get down to using him too, eh? I really, I've, I've been learning stuff here and there, but this is the only project I've really seriously made with it as for actually making something. And only to find out that it's actually European. Euro European electricity. Ground is not ground. Ground is an anode on here. It's not a cathode, it's an anode. That's strange, but that's the way it worked. And then if you guys try it yourself, you'll see what I mean. It kind of looks contradictory, but the proof is there, right? I can't change, I can't wire it, rewire it, make it our, make it our system. It is what it is, but if you guys decide to make this, it's fun to make and it's easy to make, okay? It's fun and it's easy to make, all right? You just watch the video step by step by step. I had to, re -put, I had to put these lights in before because I couldn't see them off camera. This little breadboard is see-through and it's hard to, it's really hard to make out, so I had to put the lights in first. But I wanted to show you that they were actually a, a cathode on this side and an anode on this side. That's what I wanted to show you right here. See? Cathode, anode. Cathode, anode. But this guy here in the ground, this red wire, it makes the anode act like a cathode. And meanwhile, you might as well call these ones here all grounds. These ones here, in theory, would be all grounds right here, these three black ones. That's why I use black to be humorous. The grounds are actually lighting up our lights on the, on, the, on the cathodes. And, the, the, and it should be a negative only, not the positive on, on the, uh, the... The grounds on the, cat, on the positive side, and it shouldn't be. So they just got flipped around. But it's acting the... But in theory, it's exactly. acting the same as our side, just that they numbered it, they, they worded it different, they call it ground. And it's meanwhile, it's producing power. It's not going into ground. So that's all we need to know in case you guys ever get one of these and they're fun. I'm always trying to learn something here. But I'll make this to be the end of the video.